Stick around to the end of the video because in this video I want to give you some really awesome tips when setting up the microphones for your Canon M50. So do not go anywhere if that sounds awesome to you. So the first power tip I want to share you guys actually is the internal microphone of the M50 and the M50 Mark II is really good for recording indoors especially. But personally I would highly recommend getting yourself an external microphone. This is a shotgun mic. You can spend as much or as little as you want. This only costs about 15, 20 pounds and obviously you can spend as much as you want. And I'm looking and recommending myself actually to get a bigger one to produce even higher quality of audio. And something I would highly recommend is make sure that you have a foam on the end of the microphone just because when you're recording outside it will produce higher quality audio and that's something you want to bear in mind when recording outside especially but even indoors there's always a you know little noise and things going on that might affect the quality of the sound and you don't want that to disrupt your video and just bear in mind actually that you can plug in um, your external microphone into the jack of the camera easy to do and a super power tip I recommend that you turn the flip screen facing yourself first before you pop over pop open the cap and um, just because if you don't you might find yourself you know you don't want to break the cap of the jack when you turn your screen afterwards you think oh no so the order I would highly recommend is flipping the screen towards you first open the cap plug in the microphone connect it to the top and you're ready to go now if you're getting value so far from this video smash the subscribe button and if you're new here I'm Dave from TBR Creators and I make weekly video and audio and editing tips to help you grow here on YouTube. If that sounds interesting to you, subscribe now. Now the next power tip I want to share you guys is think about a clip-on or repel mic like this one. So it basically just clips onto yourself like that, like you see in the studios. And this is a great way to get the microphone really close to you. And it's just a great way to get really good audio, especially if you're recording outside or even if you're recording indoors. Sometimes I just do it anyway, just to produce that higher quality of sound and it gets the microphone closer to you. Now, yes, you could connect an extension cable to your shotgun microphone, put on a second tripod, and that actually leads to my next power tip. Uh, something I do actually because I really like the audio this particular one produces um, so I sometimes if I just want that extra quality of audio I will clip it to a second tripod have it just out of shot just under you know say here say and it produces really high quality so when I'm editing I'm like yes the audio on this video is awesome I love this camera can you tell can you tell the value that I'm getting from that and it's just a really cool little power tip and again they come with little foam so if you're recording outside you can just put different ones on it just buffers away that horrible wind noise that some of us experience when recording outside and it's just a great thing to think about and if you don't want all this messy cable which is you know sometimes can get all over the place I would highly recommend just get yourself a wireless clip on microphone it just cost about a hundred pounds or dollars but it's definitely highly worth it if you can't be bothered with all the cable now something else you might want to think about is playing around with the audio settings on your Canon M50 it's really easy to do on the touch screen just play around with the menu to get to the level of settings that you want to play around with I recommend you record a few clips to make sure you've got the audio that you like and you know get the value of the audio that you want for the particular project that you're working on but for me personally I find the audio settings work fine and it's more about the microphone that I'm using or personally I just do it in post but the option is there if you want to play around with levels if you think the sound is is um, a bit loud you can turn it down a bit or you can put it on balance and stuff like that so it's really easy to do are you getting value so far from this video check out our merch link in the description oh absolute value now in a moment i want to show you two end cards that want to give you absolute value if you've enjoyed this type of content i just want to say thank you so much for watching feel free if you've got any questions put them in the comments below have a great day and as always guys you guys rock